Do you want a slider in your web page so the user can select a value by only dragging this slider? Well, for this, what you need to have is this input type of range. And by only having this, if you refresh your web page, you can see you got this simple slider in your web page. But how much is these numbers and how the user can know what are these numbers? Well, for that, you need to have two attributes of min, which we put zero here, and max, which we put 100 here. And now your slider has the minimum value of zero and maximum value of 100. But your slider can start in anywhere that it wants. And for that, you can have this value to set that a default value at the start. For example, if you put this 20, if you refresh, it's going to start at the 20. And another cool thing that you can have is this step. For example, if you put this 20 right here again, it's only going to increase 20 by 20. And you cannot put values between of these items. This awesome input is great for things like volume control, brightness settings, or rating sliders. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.